how to get into nursing school. Hi, my name is Brittany, but I go by Bayway, and I'm going to tell you how to get into nursing school. I got my bachelor's at FIU, and so can you, or whatever route is best for you, and this is RN, of course, right? So, let's get into it. So, number one, for you to get into nursing school, you have to be a little familiar with the path. So, there's different ways to become an RN. You could get an associate's in science and become an RN. You can get a bachelor's in science to become an RN. You could become an LPN and then get additional education afterwards and become an RN. And how you pick a path that's best for you is basically determining what you're trying to do. So for example, right? Say you want to be able to make money and then further your education. Like, you know you want to be an RN, but you want to get experience in the field or, like I said, make money. So good ways would be to either get your associates in science, which is less time, and you get to become an RN, work as an RN. And, like, most hospitals take associates in science degrees and even offer for you to further your education and get your bachelor's but you can do that work as an rn and then level up get your bachelor's and continue on if you would like to or you could do the lpn program and work as an lpn get saturated in the field make money and then continue your education to get your associates in science but yeah if you just want to go straight track and that's basically what I did you could just do your prereqs apply to a school that has a bachelor's program and go from there but know what you want based off of where you're at in life you know what can you afford like each program costs different cost and so forth and so forth so yeah once you lock in on what track you want to take then you can figure out what prerequisites you got to buckle down on and that's number two prereqs so your prereqs are basically your key to getting into nursing school your prereqs majority of the prereqs for the tracks are pretty much the same like your anatomies your chem 1032 well that's at least what it is here in like south florida you have microbiology statistics some schools take nutrition some schools don't so basically after you lock in on your path see what schools offer the track that you're interested in i know a lot of community colleges offer the associates in science and some bachelors in science um universities tend to offer the bachelors in science um there's even a track if you have a little bit of college underneath your belt so you have a bachelor's in something else but nursing is sparking your interest you could have be a part of the accelerated program so there's so many options to become an rn and there is a need there's always a need for nurses and yeah definitely lock in once you lock into the schools that are offering the program that you want you could also see other prerequisites that you need and a lot of people forget that other than getting good grades in the class requirements which you lock into your school counselor to make sure you're tracked and each semester is planned out on what you need to be taken for what specific school but schools also require a test so there's t's and then there's hesi so depending on what school you're going to they usually require one and studying for them is quite different i actually took both and preparing for each test was a little different especially if you're using online programs and test banks to practice you definitely will save more money if you just lock in and figure out what exactly you need <laughs> when you need it and go from there. So you know your prerequisites, you know the schools that you want to go to, you know what tests you need to take. Another important thing that I would recommend, because I applied to a whole bunch of different nursing schools before I locked in and picked FIU, and one thing I would say is 
definitely figure out when your nursing school applications are due if you're you know some schools offer a nursing program new class every semester some schools mostly universities might have a nursing program that only starts every august or only august and january like whatever the case is figure that out because the nursing applications tend to be due way before that and a little bit about my history of how I got into nursing school. I was taking prerequisites at a community college, specifically like Broward College, and then I transferred to FIU to be able to do the bachelor's program. So when I was doing my prereqs, I was on track to graduate, say, the spring of that year, of the following year, but the applications for majority of like the university nursing schools was due february so i spoke to my counselor and basically orchestrated a way for me to graduate in december that way i had all my prerequisites and everything done before the applications were due because if i did not get that information and just graduated in the spring and never paid attention to when the application were due the application was due I wouldn't have been able to start nursing school in August and probably if I wanted to go to a university I wouldn't have been able to start till the following year so definitely lock into those dates you know if you're just starting your process you might be like okay I'm starting my prereqs I might not be able to start nursing school until like a year and a half from now why would I need to know that now trust me if you see a pattern like okay they, these schools that i like tend to take their applications in the spring it will mentally prepare you to do what you got to do because i had to graduate a semester early and also some schools allow you to be off like one prerequisite say you're missing like nutrition like you have everything else but nutrition you could turn in your application and hold off on that one prereq so it's up to you but definitely know your dates and know what you need to take specific to your school so now applying and in your interview so some schools require an interview like say you turned in your application they like you on paper and now they want to see you in person so i've done interviews in person for some schools i've done videos that i had to record myself speaking um off of whatever prompt they gave me specifically at fiu at the time they basically made me answer questions on video like why do you want to be a nurse or what makes you a good candidate for a program and stuff like that and honestly I won it, <laughs> but I feel like it's better like utilize stuff like YouTube like this video right here is a perfect first step, but definitely look at like nursing school interview questions and answers on YouTube and practice and record yourself practice for those in person interviews. I could definitely do a video too on like what was asked of me if you guys want that. But definitely use the internet to your advantage for sure. And don't be nervous. Like they know you want to get into nursing school. So judging by that, it's a common understanding that you don't know everything. So confidence is key. You want to give off the vibe that you're willing to learn. You're willing to be a sponge in their nursing school and 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 just be a great student. You know, that's all they want to see. And lastly funds financial aid loans and employee reimbursement so like i said some hospitals are willing to actually pay you to further your education um there's student loans and a lot of scholarships there's actually a lot of scholarships out there so if finances is one reason why you're hesitant about doing nursing school honestly a lot of great things in life take investment don't be afraid to invest in yourself and you got this but last but not least and most importantly have faith in god 
pray, know your why. If you're breaking family curses or you want to be financially free or whatever it is, just pray, stay faithful. You got this. Nursing school is hard, but you can do it. It might be hard to get into, but very possible. And trust me, if I can get in, you can get in. And I love you guys. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop them down below. Bye.